Algorithm proof content strategy to get clients. Are you tired of trying to crack the code for the next algorithm or platform? Today I'm gonna show you one strategy that's algorithm free and you can use on any platform, anytime to attract your ideal client. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter. I'm a brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online coaches and entrepreneurs create their flagship offer and plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media burnout. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one strategy that's proven to work in any platform, any algorithm, and how to use this strategy, three tips on how to use this strategy so that you can get more clients with your content online. I know you're tired of trying to create content for different platforms and different features of the different platforms and, and algorithms are ever changing, but you're gonna love this one strategy. It's an evergreen strategy. Now, it's gonna sound very simple, but it's not done enough and it's not done right enough. So I'm gonna give you three tips on how to use this strategy. So what is this algorithm proof content strategy? It's Google search. I know it sounds simple. I'm not gonna show you any apps or tools to figure out keywords and find the questions, no. Here's what I'm saying. Think about what your ideal client is searching on Google. What are the subjects? I'm not really asking exactly the keywords and the exact phrases that they're looking for, but what are these things that they're searching for, the solutions that they wanna find answers to? What are they reading about? In most cases, as coaches, we are our ideal clients. We've been there before, right? So think about what were the searches you were making on Google or even on YouTube. Let's talk about these three tips and go a little bit deeper into the strategy. Tip number one, angles. When you think about what your ideal client is ultimately searching for on Google or YouTube, think about the different angles you wanna approach from. For instance, my ideal client is ultimately looking to get clients online. So they're searching for how to get clients. Now, obviously I can only create so many pieces of content saying how to get clients, right? And that's why it's important when you actually strategize this. So in the tip number one, we're talking about angles and we're talking about aligning our content with our offer. In my case, yes, my ideal client ultimately wants to get clients, but there are ways that I am helping them accomplish getting clients. And then what I do is I break down um, these things that I help my clients with into different pillars. Like um, I help my clients get clients through clarifying their niche. I help my clients get cl clients through creating a flagship offer. I help my clients get clients through content strategy lead generation, a uh, launch campaign. So these are all different. So now I have five, six pieces of content that I can create about how to get clients, that ultimate goal that my client want to achieve. So now depending on the awareness level of my ideal client I wanna speak to with this piece of content, I am also changing the angle of my content. Tip number two is awareness. Where is your ideal client in their journey? What is their awareness level? Or if you are speaking to a few different awareness levels, then which one do you want to speak to with this piece of content? Because it's important when it comes to creating convertible content. So think about the awareness. And again, from my example, I let's say I take one of my content pillars, which is actually, it is a, a module in my program. It's the clarity piece, right? So how I speak about clarity to someone who is completely unaware or to someone who is aware that they have a problem with clarity or someone who 
um, is aware that they need a solution for clarity and someone who is aware of the different processes or tools that are there to help them solve this clarity issue and then there's that most aware the advanced ones right they already know all of it they just need to get on the next level so how I talk about clarity for each of these levels of awareness is going to be different when I'm creating content if I think about what is the awareness level of the um, of my ideal client of my target audience I want to talk to today or with this piece of content then it's going to make it a lot more clear when I'm creating a piece of content for my audience who's in the very beginning level of their journey and they don't even know what a niche is that they need one first I talk about why they need a niche so that they can attract clients and once they're aware of this problem then I talk about this is how you can find a profitable niche so now that they see that there are solutions for it now I make them aware of different ways maybe processes or products and tools that they can use so that you, they can actually solve this problem so it all depends on the awareness levels and by awareness levels you can create different angles in your content third strategy is power content turning these angles and awareness levels into power content ideas meaning finding hooks and headlines for these ideas so that it is compelling for your audience let's go back to my example of my clients who ultimately wanting to get clients and awareness levels so as I look at these awareness le levels and approach how to get clients um, with clarity from different angles here's what I can do I'm gonna cheat here and read these that I have created before <laughs> alright so the first one the ultimate thing you need to get clients this could be power content for my unaware my beginner level audience and now I can talk to them about the ultimate thing you need is a profitable niche ultimate thing you need is a, a small target audience right now the next thing uh, with the next awareness level could be how to find a profitable niche to attract clients right so now I'm showing them how you can actually find a niche now that they know that they need a niche and then I can do the ultimate I help statement to get clients now this means that they've been looking for a profitable niche there that means that they're probably trying to find their niche statements still so now this is one of the solutions I'm providing saying and a help statement is a solution for you to uh, for the problem you have about trying to clarify your niche and then next now that they know about this I help statement, maybe I can tell them three tips to find your ideal client without an I help statement because now I know they've been tweaking around their niche statement and trying to make sense out of it and here with this type of content I can actually break it down and show them different processes and different tools like I said earlier um, to help them clarify that and make their offer better and then the next one and I can go on and on but the next one I thought of was um, for the most uh, aware for the maybe advanced ones who want to get on to the next level I tell them conversion based I help statement to turn your leads to clients now here why is this for the most aware and advanced level because that means they know what a conversion is they know what a I help statement is and they know what leads is that the terminology and they know that they need to turn their leads into clients so they've already have been doing their lead generation right versus if I said this conversion based I help statement to turn your leads into clients to the unaware beginner uh, the, the person who was in the beginning levels of their journey beginning stages of their journey then it wouldn't really make sense they're gonna be like oh what is a conversion what is a lead um, what is a I help statement right so one piece of content is applied and multiplied to different angles and to different awareness levels and now we that we found some hooks and headlines for them it is power content and let me give you another example from one of my clients a nutrition coach for gut health 
And ultimately, her clients want to feel good they, and they just want to be healthy, right? And in this case, there are ways that she can um, talk to her clients. Now, ultimately, they just want to be healthy, obviously. There are people who um, are unaware that they're not feeling good because of their gut health, right? And there are people who know that they have a problem with their gut and that's what their problems are uh, coming from. And there are people who are trying to solve this gut health problem. And there are people who are just trying to optimize it in advanced level, like we said earlier. We're going to talk about mood swings and how gut health is important and how certain things that they're eating is causing them uh, gut issues. Hence, that's what is the ultimate reason why they're having mood swings. Now, the next one could be the audience who is having IBS issues and they're aware this is a gut health issue and they need to fix this, right? And they know that there are different solutions to it. Like it could be medicine, it could be Western medicine, it could be diet, it could be other sources, right? So with my client, she's a nutrition coach. So if she's talking to the people, to talking to people who have IBS and gut health issues and they're aware of it, then she can uh, make her power content a little bit differently, right? So in the first one, we talked about mood swings. We can we could say how to get rid of mood swings by eliminating these three foods, right? Or how to eliminate mood swings with colors. Actually, she made a blog about this, the, the colors of foods and how to, you know, use those color, different colors for either gut health or mood swings or different uh, health benefits. And the next thing, three foods to help you balance your mood. So these are all power content for those who are unaware. Now, let's talk to the audience who has IBS and who knows they need to fix this and this is a gut health issue. She could be talking about how to get rid of IBS by eliminating three foods. How to um, get rid of IBS with colors. How to, uh, three <coughs> moods to help you get rid of IBS or three moods to help you get rid of bubble guts. Whatever it is, right? You can make it sound funny and compelling sometimes because we know, you know, if if you're someone good going through that, you will know, you will resonate. So it's not really about being cute and nice. It's about really compelling and, and talking to your audience about audience with the language they speak. So that's why it's important. The awareness levels are important. And the next example from um, one of my parenting coach clients, she's a teenage parent coach. Ultimately, her clients want to keep their uh, kids safe obviously every parent wants to keep keep their kids safe now safe from what right we can think of this now obviously they're they're not going on google and saying how to keep my kids safe they may be but there's going to be so many different how to keep them safe from what part so now if you think of those things it could be uh drugs Pregnancy, suicides, STDs, cults, mental health, body image issues, active shooters, fights, stealing, whatever these things are, right? So now, you can create pieces of content by thinking about what are these parents searching on Google? And you can say, okay, um, how to keep my kid away from drugs, right? This is, the, this is ultimately what they're searching for, let's say. And you can talk about three tips to help you keep your kids away from drugs. The ultimate strategy to know if your kid is experimenting with drugs. Are you scared to talk to your teenager about drugs? Five tools to keep them away from the worst. So now you have so many different ideas. And that's how you can think of what are they Googling about? And then kind of breaking it down, breaking down that ultimate question. If the question is how to be healthy, if the question is how to be confident, if the question is how to keep my kids safe, if the question is how to lose weight, if the question is how to get clients, break them down into the main foundations, main reasons why people are looking for these, and then turn them into power content. So this should help you with any platform, any piece of content, any future, anytime you create a piece of content, 
if you're approaching it from these angles and awareness levels, you will attract clients and you will start generating leads through your content. Let me know in the comments below what piece of information was the most valuable for you. And I'll see you in the next video.